Hello, it's Sage Forsaken here, and tonight we're going to be looking at the Elite Force 113 Armored Vehicle. Elite Force 113 Armored Vehicle. Now, um, when you unbox the vehicle, you'll come. it'll come with a figure, three backpacks, and some guns. Now, all of these really do go with the tank. So, for example, you can see I've already put the, three back, the two other backpacks on this side. When you look at the back of these backpacks, there is basically a peg solution where basically you peg the backpack into the side of the vehicle. And it just is a press fit. It really is pretty secure when you press it in there. However, I probably will glue mine on because if that, you know, kind of looks silly with that gap in the tank if that wasn't there. Now, also, looking at the vehicle, I did kind of peruse it here. You, you have this hatch with a mount here for an, uh, one of the guns you're going to get. The great thing about this hatch is that it does pivot. So basically, you're going to be able to fire different directions. It is a little tough to pivot when it's open like that. So if you were going to be doing something a lot... You know, there's plenty of points here to grab onto, but when it's open, it's kind of in your way, and the figure will be there. So keep that in mind, uh, and it may loosen up after you play with it a little bit. I don't know. So, of course, let's go ahead and put in one of the guns. Now, this gun, or rifle, I guess, uh, comes with a clip that will actually come off of here, uh, the magazine will come off. Uh, per personally, I'll probably eventually glue that also because I could easily see this gun looking pretty silly up here without any thing, any bullets to fire. Pretty much. Now, one thing I did notice are these pegs in the top of the vehicle. I did not see anything that would peg into there, but I wouldn't be surprised if you could find something to peg right into there. Uh, if you wanted to peg something else on top of the vehicle. This peg back here, on the very back, will work for your other rifle. So we can just peg that in here. And of course, this actually has another hatch. Now on the picture on the box, that does show two, vi two figures. I was wondering maybe there would be another figure inside. There is not. Uh, but I was surprised and happy to see there is a hatch in the back. So you can you can actually fit quite a bit of uh, figures in here. You don't have to worry about losing them in there. There's no actual seating or anything to show who's controlling the tank. But of course, since you can stack as many figures as you want to in there, that's not really a problem. Because you can always just have somebody in there that's controlling the tank, quote-unquote. I also like that you can have people coming out of the back. Because you can have them like coming down the ramp and that sort of thing. It would have been nice if they'd had some pegs here for the feet. Of course, this figure that came with it did not have pegs, uh, like a standard GI Joe. Before we look at the figure, though, I want to show you one other thing I really like about this, and this is something I've noticed with some of these Elite Force figures. Uh, if you look here, here's the helmet that comes with the figure. This is a soft, rubbery plastic, and They've got some really great weathering on the helmet itself. Bet you can't to see. Oh, there it goes into focus. But if that wasn't all, that would be one thing. But I love how they've actually painted the lens in like a really glossy blue to really make it pop and show kind of like he has night vision goggles. Now, of course, here's the figure without the helmet on him. He has pretty standard articulation. He does have a twist, a bend on his head. His head will rotate. It doesn't really look up or down, really. Arms do go out and up this much. And of course, you can pivot it up even higher. There's nothing keeping it from him shooting straight up in the air. Uh, but you do have to pivot it. It doesn't swing straight up. And of course, uh, this part does swivel and bend. So his elbow does swivel and bend, but there's no wrist uh, swivel or upper arm swivel. Uh, so keep that in mind. That does limit some of the things you can do with your carrying guns and things of that nature. He does have a waist rotation, 
and of course the legs bend, the knees bend. Now, there's no other rotation as far as uh, you know leg rotation or ankle pivot or anything of that nature. He does stand up pretty good on his own though. Now, like many figures you'll see nowadays, they've done a great job on the front of the figure. You can see uh, it has some weathering on it. It does have that flak vest. But then you, they run into the problem that you have on many of the figures that you can buy. And there's no paint on the back of that flak vest. It looks a little silly that all of a sudden he has this flak vest on the front, but it's not painted on the back. So that's definitely something you might want to fix if you're going to mod the figure at all. Um, and of course, let's put that helmet on him. It does just slide right on. So you're not going to have any problems there. Wow. So there you go. You got your figure and you got your tank. Let's put them together. He wants to be on the front gun. Where the action's at. And of course, let's go ahead. Okay. He needs a little uh, support, so let's go ahead and throw Scarlet in here. And don't mind Charlotte having Puma's uh, right pistol. And of course, Dozer's in the back. So we got Dozer. Custom, my custom Dozer is ready to mess some things up. So, like I said, you can store the figures in here when it's actually... Um, in the process of being used, you can easily uh, put a, pull it all out and actually set it up and get going and play with it. It's small, so it doesn't take up a lot of room on your shelf, which is always nice to kind of give you a size comparison. You do see Scarlet here. She is a regular, well, modern G.I. Joe, I should say. And you can see she's just as tall as he was, uh, if a little sexier. You know, nothing wrong with that. And of course, um, if I were storing this, I would probably pop the guns off so I didn't lose them. Just drop them in there, drop them in there. And then of course, if I want to leave this figure with this, I can just easily slide him in the back, close this all up, and then it's going to store pretty easily. I don't have to worry about losing any of the important parts, especially after I glue on these backpacks. Now, about the backpacks. The picture had a different color backpack, and these backpacks do not have any weathering. So, you can tell, like, the tank actually has a little bit of weathering to it. And the, this raw plastic of the backpacks isn't really doing it for me. So, if I were going to mod this, I would definitely be looking at hitting those with some paint. Just a wash. And of course, there's no opening on the front, so there's, you can't see out or anything like that. Keep that in mind if you wanted to have a driver, quote-unquote. There's no seat for the driver, so you may have to rig something like that up. Um, anyway, I hope you have seen what uh, you came to see here with the Elite Force 113 Armored Vehicle. This is Sage Forsaken signing off, and remember to subscribe and like.